Hey everyone, it's Ashley at MLM Rebels, and today I want to talk about past versus present mentality. Uh, when we think about past mentality, or when I think about past mentality, it's this idea of retelling myself these stories from things that have happened in the past, like retelling myself what happened to me 10 years ago that made me upset, retelling myself what this person said to me when we got in an argument last week, retelling myself how that family member when they did something horrible like made me feel and it's being in this cycle of constantly going backwards and not moving forward and when we're in a present mentality you know we're in the moment we're mentally in the moment we're focused on what's happening like in the here and now and i know it can be really hard for myself to stay in that place and in that type of mentality and in the past i've like totally been trapped in this past mentality um, because I was such a passive aggressive addict like literally I would never share what was on my mind or what I was feeling and so then when somebody would hurt me like I would literally go back to the 10 other occurrences when they hurt me in the past and how horrible of a person they were but I wouldn't say anything like I would just sit there in my own self and in my own being and kept telling myself this story and how like this thing that they just did to me was related to the 10 other things that they did that you know what they probably didn't even remember doing and the other day uh, I woke up late and I remember being like super annoyed by it because it had happened like a couple of days in a row and you know I complained about it when it first happened and then I went down to the kitchen that morning and Zach and I were cooking and I was complaining about it some more and Zach was like Ashley like it happened in the past it's over with we're in the present right now like be present and it kind of like hit me like you're right I can't go back and change the time there's nothing I can go back and do that's gonna make me waking up late different. You know, I could have stayed stuck in that story of telling myself I woke up late and I suck and I'm totally useless and I'm lazy and I'm gonna accomplish nothing for the day. Or I could start to tell myself like, and ask myself, okay, if I'm gonna move forward today, like what is the next thing that I need to do? Like what is the next action I need to take to make sure that this day is productive and that things are moving forward in the direction that I want them to go? And you just take a step back and you think about it and you're like, okay, I need to like go take a shower. And when I go to, after I go take a shower, I can start my day and get to work. And you know, there's something about, I don't know what to, you can leave it. So I just had to choose to be present, to be in that present mentality and to go forward with my day. and. You know, if you're struggling with this, if you're struggling with this in your business, you know, if you keep telling yourself like, oh, but I've tried business in the past or I've tried to make money on the side in the past or I've tried to do my own thing in the past and it never worked. Like, how is that moving you forward? You know, how is that serving you well and like the person that you're trying to become? You know, so with all you can do, leave that in the past. That's where it's at and like look at your current situation and your current opportunity and start telling yourself all the reasons that like today I can succeed because today I'm going to do this. You know, so I challenge you to go on the journey with me and to like fight every single day to have a present mentality. So comment below, let us know how it's going. Tell us something that you're doing in your morning or afternoon to like help you stay present and we'd love to hear from you.